back to episode two of Sarah for the Golden here on Orn Booch, which I mean, you can overlay for probably, I don't know. It's a lot of, like, stuff I want to do to improve kind of the production and the things, but, yeah, just gotta keep trying my best. And really, that's all there is to it. Do gonna move them my Discord thing in case I have friends attempting to communicate to me there. Awesome. So here's the Ampasarna for stuff. People who are sick should stay in bed. There's fog today, so you should go to sleep early or your cats are cold. Fine, Mom. It's been cold. It's been cold to be tough. Blah, blah, blah. Hmm. I'm happy I stole that fried rice. Maybe I still not have eaten it, though. Maybe that's what's going to do me in the end game. Alright, let's rest. Friday, the 15th of 2011. Another enemy cutscene. Well, look at that nice The Fool poster. Run, Teddy, run! Ah, oh, you're up. Well, I'm off. Later. I should be looking up these voice actors. I didn't know these voice actors. Dad has to go do something. He got a call, so he left. There's only so many voice actors I happen to know off the top of my head. Oh yeah, I was going to turn off the automatic uh, text progressing thing, but oh well, next time. I can hear girls gossiping. When I gossiping. looked, I saw three police cars zooming by. You live by the police station, don't you? Did you hear anything? I heard some yelling, but nothing more. A total disappointment. Jeez, you need to pay Why more attention to stuff like just that. How else are you supposed to get the juicy stories? So that's interesting. Snap! It's the fuzz! Run! Eh, I don't actually care. Thus well, far, our protagonist seems... Mostly apathetic. Hey, did you see it yesterday? Of course not. What is that rumor for Hi, real? Hi, Harvey I don't again. Know, but it seems like a lot of people have seen it. Like, if you're gonna have incidents or character voices, at least mix up who's doing what. Yukiko said she'd be here after lunch. I wonder why they're holding a school assembly all of a sudden. Hey, what's wrong, Yosuke? Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. Everyone, please settle down. The school assembly You're is dressed up like here. a bearer. You look ridiculous. First, the principal has something to say. Just up there as if your whole thing isn't ridiculous. I regret to say that I have a terrible announcement for all of you. Okay. One of our third year students, Ms. Saki Konishi of Class 3, has passed away. Passed away? Oh no. <sighs> Ms. Konishi was found deceased early this morning. Good use of the passive voice. The reasons behind her passing are currently under investigation by the police. If they ask you for your cooperation, I urge you as students of this school to provide only the facts. What if, what if they can't handle only the facts? Senpai's here. Oh, I saw it too. Rabble, All rabble, right, rabble. please quiet down. I have been assured by the faculty that there's been no evidence that bullying was involved in the incident. It's fine that one of our so students got murdered say, as long as they not weren't only to the police, but to anyone who asks. Found dead? How could this happen? Well, you see, Chie, when <laughs> one loses life, they become what is known as dead. Uh, 
da 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 da. She died the same way as that announcer, right? It's so creepy. Well, last time it was from an antenna, and but this Harvey time she was hanging from again? a telephone pole. It's got to oh, be a serial murder case. Up. Someone said the cause of death was some unknown poison. Unknown? Come on, this isn't some sci-fi drama. Oh, by the way, did you hear? Someone saw a girl that looked like Saki on that Midnight Channel thingy. They said she totally looked like she was in pain. Isn't that scary? <laughs> Kinda. Sounds like someone had a nightmare. The media's been broadcasting their interviews with her nonstop. So maybe they just had Saki on the brain. Uh, are you saying they fell asleep drunk? Sheesh. It's easy to toss around theories if you're not personally involved. Yes. Because if you're personally involved, hey, you probably have more. Did you guys information check out the TV last night? Theorizing. Yosuke, not you too. Just listen for a sec. Something kept bothering me. So I watched it again, and I think the girl on the screen was Saki Senpai. I guess. There's no mistaking it. Senpai looked like she was writhing in pain. And then she disappeared from the screen. What? You heard Senpai's body was found in a similar situation as that announcer's, right? Well, remember that guy you told us about? How he was all excited that his soulmate was the announcer? Maybe, just maybe, also the but character models, Ms. Yamano might have been on that Moses. midnight channel before she died too. Theory. What's that supposed to mean? Hold on. Are you saying people who appear on that TV <gasps> die? can't say for sure, but something tells me. I just can't dismiss it as coincidence. <gasps> Plus, remember what that bear thing said? How that place was dangerous and we should leave before the fog clears? Yeah, and then it we did it. It also said that someone's oh, wait, been throwing did. people in there. But now we're going back. In that room with the posters on the wall, it has to have something to do with the announcer's death. Good day. I mean, Good job, you Yorsuke. Some kind of connection there. Actually Couldn't the that very world in the TV have, have something to do us. with Senpai and the announcer's death? I don't know, maybe. Well, what do you think? Firstly, you are absolutely correct in this was obvious, Austin. Oh, that's preposterous. No, you're right. So it's not just me, huh? Yeah, because it's obvious. If there is a connection. And it's a good bet that the two of them went inside that world. That would explain the posters in that room. Which means, if we look around, we might find a place that has something to do with Senpai, too. Yosuke, don't tell me. Yeah. I'm thinking about going in again. I want to find out for myself. D don't do this. You should just let the police handle this and... You think we can rely on the police? Yeah. They haven't made any progress on the announcer's case. I mean, Besides, it's been even if we told day. them about the world inside the TV, there's no way they're going to believe us. If I'm completely off base with this, that's fine. It's just... I need to know why Senpai had to die like this. Grim. Yosuke. After what I've seen and what I've put together, there's no way I can ignore it now. Sorry, but you're the only person who can help me. I'm going to go get Bye. ready. I'll be waiting for you at Juness. Do you have no other friend? All right, bye. I know he just asked me to take him into the TV world again. I that was can their kind of game. understand how he feels, but we can't be sure we'll be able to get out safely again. What should we do? Yeah, let's go home. I, mean, I think we should do it, but I'll let you decide. Huh? Me? I. Got no anyway, from that. Let's go to Juness. We can't leave Yosuke alone. I knew you'd make the right call. Sure. So, I attempted to continue on by myself earlier, and then I thought, look at all this material that I'm not commenting on. So now I'm back. Afternoon. After school. What's this like, afternoon? You, you guys ridiculous. came. We came to stop you, idiots! Come on, you really shouldn't do this. It's too dangerous. I know, but we were able to come back once, right? If we go in from the same location, maybe we'll meet that bear again. I guarantee we'll come maybe back again. Maybe isn't good enough. Look, I can't just act like everyone else and pretend this has nothing to do with me. That's true, but. What about you? Could you just walk away? Probably.
can't tell you what may happen over there. You have voiced a concern over TA coming along. My understanding has increased. That's nice. Yeah, it'll be just you and me. Don't I mean, worry, I'm not like going in without a plan. Martial arts, you could probably. Chie, I'm leaving on. you in charge of this. It's a huh? rope. What's that? A rope? We'll go in with this tied to me. So I want you to hold on to this and wait here. What? what? Then this is a lifeline? I like the turn on, on this one wait a, a lot more than Persona 3. Here, this is for you. Because this is like kind of just the right level of goofiness right now. I thought it might be better than going in empty-handed. All right, let's go. There's no use wasting any more time. Chie, whatever you do, don't let go of the rope. I mean, we don't hey, know I said how wait! far we're going. It doesn't look like a lot of rope. We and two psychonauts. Oh. So is no one going to be weirded out by the girl just standing there with a rope coming out of a television? See? I knew this wasn't going to work. Now what? You're a very dramatic person, Chie. Uh, is this... Look, this is the same place as last time. Wow. So they are connected from place to place. Time. Uh, you guys, why'd you directly? come back? I don't know, we were bored, I guess. I get it. You're the ones behind this. Don't be preposterous. You're that thing from last time. Wait, what the hell did you just say? Lately, I can tell someone's been throwing people in here. It's making this world more and more messed up. I think I know his voice. This is the second time you guys came here. And I don't think anyone forced you in. That means you're the most suspicious. I can't exactly deny You guys that. must be the ones throwing the people in here. That's adorable. Don't label us like that. What are you talking about throwing people in? If someone was thrown in here and they couldn't get out, they might die. Who would do such a... Wait a sec. A jerk would do it. All this talk about someone throwing people in here, does he mean... Senpai and the announcer? Did that someone throw those two in here? Hey, what do you think? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, that must be it. The accident we fell in? I don't know. Do we have evidence one way or the other? Uh, probably. Do you think the accident we fell in? Let's just move forward. Yeah, I agree. Let's assume he's telling the truth. Could it be that someone's throwing people in here, intending to kill them? I mean, if that's the case. Possible. What are you guys mumbling about? Why'd you come here anyways? Curiosity. It's a one-way door. You can't get out once you're in. You let us Remember out. how Somehow. I had to let you guys out? Yeah, we were <laughs> yeah, appreciative whatever. of that. We don't need your help this time. See? This time we have a life. Li what? Nope, we get to die this time. Hey, you better let us out once we're done investigating here. <laughs> I'm the one who wants to investigate. Why don't I've we all lived here for a long time, but it's never been noisy like this till now. Do you, you have deal? proof? Prove to me you're not throwing people in here. How would I do that? It doesn't work that way. See? So it is, you guys. The last time, it's not us. So we've got nothing to prove to you. Hey, you better answer our questions. Still weird that this isn't like last time like when we came by accident. We're dead tuxedo. serious. Listen up, because people have died in our world. Every time the fog appears, a dead body shows up with it. It has to be related it's to this place somehow. Twice. If you know something, tell That's us. Not quite a dead body. Yet. We Whenever have two the fog data appears, I know that if it's foggy on your side, the fog lifts here. It's really dangerous when the fog lifts. That's when the shadows get violent. You sound scared. Ah, 
I get it. Weird mascot character. Huh? If you get it, then explain it to us, damn it! If it's foggy on our side, it isn't in here. Shadows get violent? That's why I said to hurry back. It's dangerous when that happens. Okay, no more questions. I know you guys did it. You better stop right now. All I right. told you I promise and told we, you we're we not the not ones doing it. I've not had it with you. Why the hell won't you listen to what we're saying? I'm just saying you might be the culprits. I'm just making sure. What? Man, this bear's driving me nuts. What is this place anyways? It looks like a... TV studio. Is something being filmed here? Hey, hey, don't tell me. Is that weird show being filmed here? What weird, weird show? show? Filmed? What does that mean? Uh, I I'm asking if someone's been filming the people that get thrown in here. Oh. Uh... I don't get it. This world has always been like this. No one has ever done that filming thing here. What is a television? Always been like this. Run that by me again. I'm not an idiot, so let's not go with that one. Let's go with what do you mean? Only me and shadows are here. I told you before. Was a shadow. We don't know what these shadow are things shadow? are, or what you are either, for that matter. You keep telling us to prove our innocence, but you're the most suspicious thing here. Maybe you're the real culprit. And what's with that stupid costume? I'd say it's time you showed your face. That's not how Whoa. zippers work. What the hell are you? It's empty inside. You're empty inside. Also, nice of them to get that out of the way quickly. So I don't spend the rest Me? of the game going like, is there one in there? I wouldn't do such a thing. I Neither just live here. I just want to live here peacefully. By yourself? Okay. With the Satters? I'll believe that you guys aren't the lonely. culprits. But I want you to find the real guy who did all this. You have to stop him. Promise me. Or else... Or else what? I'm not gonna let you guys out of here. That's rude. You little... This can't keep going on. My home here will be a complete mess. With and the then... the curses laying around and everywhere. Then I... <laughs> What are you crying for all of a sudden? Jeez, this thing's really weirding me out. Serious Bear is asking you to find the culprit behind this. Yes, I was there. Someone on the outside is throwing people into this world. Kind of rude. The culprit isn't you. He wants you to find the real culprit. The mysterious bear seems serious about this. <sighs> hey, what should we do? Help, I guess. I remember. It I seems go. you will encounter a misfortune at your destination, and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. Ominous. Would this be the mystery that would be thrust upon? I mean, I guess. All these questions that I'm being prompted on. There seems to be no other option. You're the only ones I can ask. Will you promise me? Sir. Thank you! Damn oh, well, bear. Then. Practically holding a gun to our heads. But it's true that we came here to figure things out. So far, we're completely in the dark. Look for the culprit, huh? Bring it on. You got my word, too. Might as well introduce ourselves. I'm Yosuke Hanamura, and this is my buddy. You got a name? Teddy! <laughs> Figures. But how are we supposed to find the culprit in the first place? I don't know. Oh, but I know where the last person came in. The last person? You mean Saki-senpai? I mean the person who came in and disappeared last time. I don't know the name. Well, I'll take you there. You might find clues. Oh, one thing first. You two should put these on. What is it? Glasses? This is the greatest for? game! Look at us with our stylus glasses. Whoa! The difference is like night and day. With these on, it's like the fog doesn't exist. They'll help you walk the through the fog. Well, the I've been here for a long time, so you can rely on me. Uh, but I can only show you where the place is. 
You guys will have to defend yourselves. What happened to relying on you? There better not be any monsters, you understand? We brought weapons, oh, yeah, but, I mean, use your skate. they're more for show. We just got here. If it's so dangerous, why don't you do something instead of relying on us? Uh-uh. No way. I've got no muscles. Oh, oh, I'll give you guys I mean, moral you support your from a safe distance. How's that sound? That sounds like you're a jerk. I'm gonna force you over. Take that, nerd. <laughs> I just touched the last time you stared fell over, so... Is this My thing for real? Uh, this is so lame. We swore to find the culprit, and this is all the backup we get? Oh, yeah. Mm, Can I ask turtle. you something? Who's this Saki senpai person? Someone you know? Uh, that doesn't matter right now. Anyways, at least now we know senpai might have been thrown in here. Maybe we can find more information, too. Let's get moving. Wow, this place looks familiar. What is this place? It looks just like the shopping district. What's going on here? Some weird places have appeared here recently. Things are getting so tangled, I... I don't know what to do. Uh, by the way, why are you standing so far from us? You better not be planning to hightail it if something does come up. <laughs> of course not! I mean, uh, I, I can't stand too close, you know? I get in your way. <sighs> oh. Man, they really went all out on this. But out of all the places in town, why'd they replicate this one? How should I know? This is reality for the one who's here. <sighs> As usual, nothing you say makes any sense. But if this is our shopping district, we're not far from Saki Senpai's. Wait. Saki Senpai. I knew it. This is the liquor store that Senpai's parents run. Owns the liquor Does this store. mean Senpai disappeared his here? Saki. What could have happened? It's kind of on the nerve. Wait game. a second. They're here. What? Shadows. I had a feeling they were going to attack. Huh? Uh. Drama. <laughs> Overly stylized drama posters. Hey, I think I know these guys. I bought them in Persona 3 a bunch. I think they're really against fire. Oh, gross. I am thou. Thou art I. Curse you in turn, Marlog. Stay calm and listen. Okay. Some shadows have weaknesses. If you can pinpoint that weakness and take advantage of it, the battle will be a lot easier. I can tell this one has a weakness too. Try stuff out and see what works. Let's see here. Well, our only magic is electricity, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the relevant one. I'll keep track of what attacks have what effects on enemies. Thanks, Teddy. I don't like fighting. Don't give up! 
It's weak to electricity. Golf club, you. Ah, gross. Die. Ooh, two soul drops. No money. You did it, Sensei! I look so plain. Cool, if it's up to level two. a combat knife spear. Interesting design. Ooh, a card. I may eat it. Let's face his other self. That's nice. Let's obtain the facade used to overcome life's hardships. The persona is on is a not Whoa, what was that? Did I hear you say persona? I guess. What was it? I mean, what did you do? Hey, magic. You think I can do magic. it too? Magic. Calm uh. down, Yosuke. You're troubling sensei. <laughs> I'm a sensei now. Gosh almighty! You're amazing, sensei! I am one impressed bear! I can't believe you were hiding such an amazing power! No wonder the shadows were scared of you! <gasps> Are you the one who's able to bring people into this world? Kind of? <laughs> and that's what I thought! This is really something! Don't you think so, Yosuke? Dude, you call him sensei and then don't show me any respect? Or is his glasses Sorry! Bent? Well, your support wasn't bad, though. I gotta give you some credit for that. Huh? Really? <laughs> All right. You two keep it up, and I think we'll be fine from here on out. Now let's get back to the investigation. Man, I wonder what could have happened to Senpai here. Yeah, that's only Melissa's, probably. Ugh, I wish Janess would go under. It's all because of that store. What the? Oh, I heard that Konishi-san's daughter is working there. Oh my, how could she with her family's business suffering like it is? I heard their sales have gone downhill because of Junette. I think that's how even says Konishi. Stop it. That poor father. To have his own daughter working for the enemy. What a troublesome child. Hey, hey, Ted! You said it's that this hey. place is reality for those that are here, right? So, does that mean this was Senpai's reality when she wandered in here? I mean, I that might be only know about reality. what's over here. Fine, whatever's going on here, we'll find out ourselves. Oh, are your feelings hurt that your big chain star is making people and the town grumpy? Damn it, not again. Saki, how many times do I have to tell you? Is this Senpai's dad? You know uh, what the neighbors say about you, right? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You're the eldest daughter of a family who's owned this store for generations. Is it the money? Or did you meet some guy there? Just tell me why you have to work there of all places. Why not? I can't believe this. She seemed like she had fun at work. She never said anything like this to me. You're telling me this was how Senpai really saw things? Oh. These photos. Sounds more like this is how she hey, saw those around this... her seeing horror. It's the photo we took the other day with the other part-timers at Juness. Why is it cut up like this? Well, at least he's smiling. Yosuke is saying I to her. Seems never nice. had the chance to say it. Is that Senpai's voice? I always wanted to tell Hanachan. Huh? Me? That he was a real pain in the ass. Oh, poor Hanachan. I was nice to him just because he was the store manager's son. That's all. Ours. But he takes it completely the wrong way and gets all enthusiastic. What a dick. Pain in the ass? Who cares about Juness anyway? Because of that store, our business is ruined. My parents hate me, the neighbors talk behind my back. 
I wish everything would just disappear. That sounds like depressing. It's a lie. This can't be. Senpai's not like that. It's so sad. I feel so sorry for myself. Boo-hoo! Actually, I'm the one who thinks everything's a pain in the ass. <laughs> oh no, it's your evil self. Uh, huh? Two Yosuke's? Who are you? I, I wouldn't think that. <laughs> yeah, right. How long are you going to keep deluding yourself? Screw the shopping district and Juness too. You're sick of everything. Especially living out in the sticks. It is a little lame out here. What are you saying? That's you know, not true. I... Library. You put on a good show of being carefree and happy-go-lucky because you're so terrified of being alone. The more the merrier, right? You gotta be surrounded by people to block out the pain of isolation. Really and what's this about movie. checking out this world for Saki Senpai's sake? Ha! I know the real reason you came snooping. Oh. Stop it! <laughs> Why so panicked? I thought I was just spouting bullshit. Or maybe I do know everything you're thinking. Why's that? Because I am you. You just came because you thought it sounded like a good time. What else is there to do out in this shithole? A yeah, world inside the TV. Casually throw ourselves now that's weird exciting. Rounds. You didn't have a single other reason for coming here, did you? That's not true. Stop! Stop it! You're just trying to act like a big shot. If all went well, hey, maybe you could even be a hero! And that senpai you were so sweet on? Her death was the perfect excuse. That's not true! What are you? Who are you? I mean, even if it is true, it's not <laughs> that bad of a motivation. I already okay. told you. I'm you. Your shadow. There's nothing I don't know about you. Screw that! I don't know you! You yeah. can't be me, you son of a bitch! And yet, he is you. <laughs> <laughs> That's right! Say it again! You're not me! You're nothing like me! We're just gonna stand yeah, here and what? Right. I am me now! I'm not you anymore, Ooh, see? Jazzy baseline. <laughs> This game you must be very shallow in the first game. I think I guess it's on I am a shadow, the true self. I'll crush everything that bores me, starting with you. Get out of my sight! Ow, I'm way too bad. How long can you survive this? I don't know, it depends on This when one's I get much it stronger than the last type. Be careful! Whenever you feel threatened, just defend yourself. Uh that's a meaningless bit of advice. For electricity, Sarah Yusuke. <laughs> oh, you feel weak about it, do ya? That's unfortunate. Mind if I clean you? 
Electricity, go for it. Bucks off the Congratulations, Sensei! Good thing you got glasses, dude. You do not look like an interesting person without them. Oh, that James. He's on Nagi and the door. Ma. Aw, our mother increased. As did our gold. Unless that's silver. Yeah, yeah, but also no. What happened? Well, you got mopey about someone calling out your kind of lame flaws. You, you're not me. That thing came from you, Yosuke. You have to admit it, or it'll go berserk again. I get that. Having people deny your existence. Everyone's the same size. That's not true. You have to be brave. Uh, this one, I think this one is more the just accept yourself, buddy. It's okay. No one's judging you. Opposite. Myself. Damn it. It hurts to face yourself. Does it? I knew it wasn't lying. But I was so ashamed that I didn't want to admit it. You're me. 
And I'm you. When you get down to it, all of this is me. Especially the, the excessive amount of alcohol. Okay. I am the most disker thing possible. Persona Jiraiya. This is my persona. Why do I not? Why didn't I have to face my sadder when self? He heard Senpai's voice. I wonder if that was something Senpai had been keeping deep down inside. <laughs> he was a real pain in the ass, huh? What a way to find out. Jeez, this is so embarrassing. I mean, we still can't actually roll out that this is if you a, a here, reflection of your. I don't know what would have happened. Thanks. Yes, that's our arc. We go around hey, and Teddy, fix people's problems. Could brother. Senpai have been attacked by her other self here? Like how it just happened to me? I think so. The shadows here were originally born from humans. Sometimes the fog clears, then they all go berserk. And you saw what happens next. A strong-willed shadow draws others to it, and a big mass of shadows kills the host! Right, so be weak real. So that's why people die when it gets foggy in our world. <sighs> I think they just, you know, get into your accidents. Yosuke's pretty worn out. Too low. This, this world really... isn't made for humans. It's not comfortable for you here. I don't hear any more voices. I think we're done with this place. Let's go back. Okay. Hey, Teddy, you said that this place is reality for people who enter, right? So that shopping district and the weird room we saw before, did they exist because the ones who died entered this world and it became their reality? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, did those places boxes. form because of the boxes people who entered this world? Boxes. I don't know. It's never happened before. But that's probably where they were when the shadows attacked them. This world killed them? Let's go with it. Was the same for them? I mean, I guess the fog does lift here sometimes. sometimes. The shadows get really violent then. I always get so scared I have to hide when it happens. I sensed people here twice before, but both of them disappeared after the fog lifted. So let's get this so straight. Kind of your Senpai fault and that Yamano there. lady were thrown in here, and since they couldn't get out, they wandered around. After a while, that shadow thing came out of them. The fog cleared, it went berserk, and it ended up killing them. Does that sound right? So if I'd been here until the fog Pauses. cleared, I would have been in much deeper trouble? Probably. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You were lucky. Sensei and me were here with you. <laughs> Damn it. A lazy Senpai way to had an announcer. Me a name. They were stuck here all alone. No one could save them. Yosuke. They disappeared when the fog lifted, but they were safe before that. No shadows attacked them. They attacked us, though. Maybe they're keeping a close eye on us. They might see people who investigate this place as enemies. It'll be dangerous, but we might be able to fight them. We might save people. Are you saying if anyone else gets thrown in here, we can save them before they disappear? Well, like how you guys like just saved me? Mason. We won't know unless we try. Anyways. We need to catch the one who's throwing people in here and make him stop. Yeah, yeah. that seems like a rude thing for him to I'm do. finally starting to understand what's going on. Um, can I ask something too? Sure. If shadows are born from humans, what was Teddy born from? How You don't even know? know where you came from? How should we know? I know some things, mostly about this world, but... I don't know anything about myself, it's to be honest. Sad. I never thought about it until it's now. Yawning. Are you serious? No wonder we couldn't get a straight answer out of you. Will you guys come back here? Probably. Monkey bear. We have no choice. Nah. I want to be friendly. You'll keep your word? Well, you're the one who said you weren't letting us out unless we do. Oh, that's right. Okay, like I'll let you out. But there's one thing. Else. 
I'll be waiting for you guys here. You need to come in from the same place every time, so we can meet up. You could come in from somewhere else, but then you won't end up here. You might show up somewhere I couldn't get to you. Then you'd be doomed. Got it? Well, pretty okay, much. Admit, our All right, can you show us the way out? Me. Roger that. I'm usually down One exit coming characters. right up. Unless they're not. Unless they're not. <laughs> Cool. First, we need to make sure there aren't any employees milling around out there. Okay, go, go, go! Squish! Uh, hey, stop squeezing, you little... Ugh! Great on the eyes. Oh, you, got, you guys came back! Yes, yes, you're welcome. GA? Whoa, what's with that face? Ow! Oh, the nerve of you guys! Oh, you're such morons! I, I can't believe this! You guys suck! That's fair. Okay. Point. We have superpowers now. Cut off. I had no idea what to do. I was so worried. GA, your immersions are valid. Scared stiff, damn it! I hate you both! That's fair. Bye. I I think that might have kind of sort of been our fault. Maybe we did go our a little fault? too far. Let's apologize your to idea. him tomorrow. I'm completely wiped out. I'm gonna go home, soak in the shower for a while, and get some sleep. I think I'm gonna sleep well tonight. Well, see you in the morning. There's a floodplain. We're walking home from Junez. Oh, you look very traditional. Mm -hmm. Oh, are you surprised to see me dressed this way? My parents sent me out on an errand. Very traditional umbrella as well. Um, are you getting used to your new town and school? I like it here. Really? But it must be difficult moving to a place you know nothing about. I've never been out of Innova, so I wouldn't know what it's like to transfer to a new school. Oh, are you getting along with Chie? I mean, I always leave early, so, um... <laughs> this is cute, but those are kind of noxious. Eh. You know what? I want to be positive about leaving. I'm glad to hear that. Chie is very supportive, you know? It's always her who gives me the little extra push I need. We had homeroom together last year, too. And I still remember how we cut class sometimes. <laughs> Oh, I should get going. I need to make tomorrow's arrangements with our head chef. Our inn can't function without me right now. Why? Um, I'll see you at school then. What happened to your parents? Are they sick? Anyways, evening time. Dad's late. You're late. Well, our next story is an update in our news. ongoing report on the bizarre murders occurring in Inaba. At around 7 a.m., local high school student Saki Konishi was found dead in Inaba's residential area. Since the body was positioned similarly to the last victim, and since Miss Konishi was the one who discovered that body, police are proceeding under the assumption that this may be a serial murder case related to the death of Mayumi Yamano. The coroner's report has established Miss Konishi's time of death at around 1 a.m. last night. The body went unnoticed until this morning as a result of the heavy fog blanketing the area. Another incident. Dad won't be coming home tonight. Oh, I'm sorry, girl. I'll be here with you. I'll be okay. Can you help me do some stuff around the house? Definitely. 
<laughs> the curse seems to be really Amagi reliable Inn, for Inn, located upstream of Samegawa River, is the town's oldest historical landmark. Vacationers are known to travel surprising distances in order to visit its open-air, radium-rich hot springs. Radium? After the incident with Miss Yamano, the manager has stepped aside, leaving her daughter Yukiko to fill her shoes. Wow, that happened quickly. In other words, she's a manager who's still in high school. Now that has a nice ring to it. Let's see if we can interview her. You're Excuse me! Hmm? Um, are you speaking to me? We've heard that you're the new manager. Is it true you're still in high school? Oh, well, I'm only filling in temporarily. Someday, though. That aside, wow, you're looking gorgeous in that kimono. You must have had a lot of male visitors. Huh? Yeah, they're restraining no. order. No, um... This is a terrible reporter. And further off subject. This is boring. And creepy. Oh, I need to do the dishes. I, I can do those for you, probably. Yay! Our protagonist is a stand-up dude. Yes. Where's my command menu button? This one? Cool, cool, persona. Ah. Can't dismiss a persona that's currently equipped. Good, good. Get ready to keep me from screwing myself over for a laugh. I need healing. Uh, that's fine. I have a golf club. Oops. I have garf club. I have t-shirt. I have wristwatch. I have car clothes. Ooh. We're actually in town. Actually, for that to be remotely relevant. System. Okay, we're gonna turn that off just so I can give my space to comment. a lot faster when there's two people washing the dishes. You're welcome, lady. Okay, what else can I fiddle with while we're here? Maybe to fiddle with stuff. Okay, buy ingredients. Uh, now like I'm just gonna leave for giggles. Ow. Save early, save often. Alright. Uh, now I care I'm gonna go get eaten by my television now. Uh, stay safe. Watch the house. Alright. Wait, is this nurse? Was there Pocky on that table? Is I get more Pocky? Yeah, I don't need Pocky. It's raining tonight. Does something appear on TV? In other Inaba related news, meteorologists are predicting heavy fog throughout the year. Wow. 
The region has seen an abnormal amount of fog over the past few years, and the cause of the climate change is unknown. Um, uh, sir. Whatever the reason, residents of the Inaba area should be extra careful. I mean, people have been blown. Our broadcast tonight was extended to bring you up to date news on the incident in Inaba. The time is now midnight. This has been Plot Convenience News. This time, Gamers is there again. Seems like we can do since our mid. We can see it as many times as we want. So that's nice. This is a magic theater. Seems to be a woman. It looks like she's wearing a kimono. Oh dear. Why is this so out of focus that you can't tell who it is? Well, let's go save her, I guess. What would happen if we touch the Amazon in the Minute Channel? Our protagonist is an idiot. And it's disappeared. This is no survival instincts. Who's to speak with your skay and the others about this smart Deborah ellipses? He decides to go to bed for tonight. Oh, I'm here now. This is... Welcome. Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. Oh, that's good. I have summoned you within your dreams. Thanks. Why? Duh. And so we meet again. This is a space that only those who have, in one way or another, entered into a contract may enter. In your daily life, you subconsciously heard the call to awaken, and you chose to follow the destiny of your inner voice. That was nice of me. Thereby, enacting your glorious awakening to your power. What is your deal, Margaret? Hold on to this. It's a gun. From this night forth, you are our guest in this velvet room. Thanks. Your destiny will require you to hone your power. And for that, you will inevitably require our help. Okay. There is but one prize for this assistance. Is it blood? Death? You must abide by your contract and assume responsibility for all decisions you may make. Okay, I mean, that's life generally. I don't get it. That is fine, for now. The persona you have acquired... Yes? It is a side of you that shows itself when you face the world around you. Yes, I'm vaguely aware of uh, Jungian psychology. Perhaps you can think of it as a facade of determination you wear to face various difficulties in life. I know what a persona is, yes. Your persona ability, however, is that of the wild card. Compared to that of others, it is very special. There are only th I've only met three other people before you with this facet. It is like the number zero. Empty. Rude yet holding infinite potential within itself. I don't think that's how zero works. <laughs> Empty? The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. All right, I'll go make friends. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. Nice. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. You have a weird face. Sure one. Social oh. links are necessary for more than strengthening your persona. It's also our advanced plot stuff. At times, they will help light the way to the truth you're searching for. 
Where will your awakened power of the wild card take you? Hopefully, now we're dumb. I look forward to traveling the road of your destiny together. <laughs> oh, is that why we're doing a limo this time? Till we meet again. Thrown out a moving vehicle. So, the 16th. Interesting way for them to render those trees. Yo! Who's... You and your bike. You saw what was on last night, right? Yes. I couldn't tell who it was, but if someone's shown up on TV, we can't ignore it. I mean, kind of obvious who it is. Let's go check it out after school. Maybe Teddy can tell us something. That'd be nice. Thanks it turns out someone was thrown in again. There really might be a culprit behind all this. Even if it is something about that place that's killing the victims. If someone's using that world as a weapon, that's unforgivable. We need to find the culprit, no matter what it takes. Alright. There's no way the I'm police alone. can do it. Who'd believe that the murderer kills people by throwing them into the TV? Well, I mean, we could throw a police officer into the TV. You do it. I want to keep my word too. Totally. A promise is a promise. You know, I tried sticking my head in the TV last night the way you did, and it actually worked. We are a pair of idiots. <laughs> I think I can do that now because I have the same power. Convenient. Persona, wasn't it? Sure. Could be that we got this gift from someone specifically so we could solve the case. I got the gift from a weird, like, raving yokai man. And again, you managed to go inside the TV and get your persona first. Yes, I'm very special. I feel like as long as you're with me, I can find the culprit and crack this case. Hey, easy now. I'm the protagonist here. Well, let's do our best. Okay. Even with so much mystery swirling around, Yosuke is trying his hardest to move on. Seems a historic friendship between you and Yosuke. Oh dear. Uh, so we triggered something. What is this in Toga? Thou art I. Die of thou. Now I pass the stab list to move on. Bring you closer to the truth. Now I shall be blessed from creating persona of the magician I can. Good news, buddy. You're a maid. Whatever that means. It's a form of violin with your escape. You have the power of your heart and your hearts. You call Igor's Igor's wars. The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. Good to know. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. In our game, I literally wasn't given the chance to save between, like, when he originally said that and now. So, like, you could probably safely assume that the, pro the player still kind of has that conversation mostly in their mind and doesn't necessarily need it laid out right now. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Cool. Social links. Is this fun with your skate what Igor was talking about? Hmm. You have seven C. Yorsuke Hanamara, Sorcerer Link of the Magician Arcana. Yorsuke's determination in battle has been Enhanced. This guy can now wake up a knockdown ally during battle. Ooh, that, that is a nice ability. I may help someone who is knocked down get back on their feet. That's nice. Got stacks, stacks. Oh, gossip. Uh, Chie? A uh, Chie! Um, about yesterday? We're sorry we worried you. That doesn't matter! My friend's gone! We have to go save her from, you know, the Midnight Channel. Never mind that. Is Yukiko still not here? Huh? Y Yukiko-san? Uh, no. 
At least I haven't seen her today. Oh man, what should I do? Hey, is that stuff you were talking about for real? Yes. You know, all that about how people showing up on the Midnight Channel is related to that other world. It is accurate. Oh, we were just talking about that. We're thinking of checking it out later. The person on TV yesterday? I think it was Yukiko. Are we just all obsessed with checking in on the Midnight Channel now? That kimono looked like the one she wears at the inn and she wore it during that interview a few days ago, too. Wow, our serial killer is weird. I got worried, so I emailed her last night, but she hasn't responded. Like, is our serial killer just actively trying to undermine our litter town here? I called her earlier in the evening, though, and she said she'd be at school today. That was nice. I... Calm down. We get the picture. And you still haven't heard from her? No. No! Summed up the information you gained in that other world for Chie. What's that supposed to mean? Wait, are you saying Yukiko was in? thrown in there? Uh, maybe. We don't know yet for sure. We should check to see if she's safe first. Give her another call. I mean, we already know if phones don't work on the other side, so... I don't know if we're really going to tell anything. No good! Her voicemail picked up! Oh, I'm sorry, lady. She, she's not answering! Dang. Are you serious? Then is Yukiko-san inside that place? Probably. S stop it! Something must have come up, like an errand or something. Nah, is he doomed? Oh, or she might be helping at the end. She wouldn't be able to answer her cell if that's it. Yeah, but would she skip school for that? Yeah. Well, I'll give the inn a call. Um, I've got the number here somewhere. Come on, Yukiko, pick up. The phone number you have tried to reach oh, does not is exist. This Yukiko? Thank God she's there! You can't, haven't confirmed that yet. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I see. So Yukiko's dead? Um, uh, no. Nah, it was nothing. <laughs> I'll email you again later. Weird. Weird. <sighs> she was over at the inn. She said they had a big group reservation and she had to help out. Suspicious. Yeah. Oh, now that I think about it, this has happened before, too. At least once a year. <laughs> she said she'll be at the inn tomorrow, too. Probably stairs to go check out the dungeon. For crying out loud, Yosuke, you got me worried over nothing. I think you got yourself worried over nothing. She was totally fine. Okay. And you were all, is Yukiko sign inside that place? <laughs> I, I find you obnoxious, Chie. I'm sorry. I find you charming. I like your design. But there is a reason we thought that. Oh yeah? What? Well, we thought people show up on the Midnight Channel because they're already over in that world. Okay. I mean, it makes sense, right? People show up on TV because they're inside the TV. That's not how TV works. But Yukiko-san's still here in our world. We might want to see what this is about. Sorry. All right, let's meet up at Juness after school. Unless it's her mother that's in there. Might be her mother in there. Let me explain a few things. Thanks for in detail again about what happened last night. Why? Why are we being repetitive even in summary form? Okay, I think that's more than enough about my sorry escapades. Well, you are a loser. If I hadn't seen the place firsthand, I'd never have believed a story like that. Yeah, no kidding. Anyways, we need to know what's going on inside. <laughs> yeah. Too bad there's so many customers around. I forgot there's a sale in the electronics department today. I thought we'd just go in and ignore them and let whatever happens happen. How? By talking to that Teddy guy? I got it. 
Come here a sec. You are gonna do something shenanigansy, aren't you? Try sticking your hand in it and calling him over. I bet that bear's wandering around the entrance anyway. Hey Chia, stand over here. Make a wall with me. A wall? Try backing your tag over. He was like, nah, man. That ain't my style. Oh, he bit me. What a jerk. What's wrong? He bit Shh, me. Not so loud, you idiot. Yeah, I'm gonna turn into a weird mascot bear. Dude, is that a bite mark? Are you okay? No, Teddy's a jerk. I think we're gonna cry. Oh, come on. Don't cry. Sheesh, that stupid bear must have done it. <laughs> hey, you. Giving this guy no we dignity. know you're in there. <laughs> oh, oh, is this a game? No. Well, yes, but that's a bit too meta. No, it's not a game. Can you sense anyone inside there right now? I'm sorry you feel that way, Teddy. This land feels so barren. <laughs> okay, friendship with Teddy over. Shut it! So there's no one inside? You're sure? Uh, I'm not lying. My nose is running as good as ever. That's how you sense people? Hmm. <sighs> Go warn Yukiko anyway. That's fair. Since she'll be busy this weekend helping out at the inn, I doubt she'd go anywhere alone, but still. Yeah. You'll walk with her to school on Monday, right? Sure. I'll go pick her up at her house. Maybe we'll find out more on tonight's Midnight Channel. Cross your fingers that this is all just a misunderstanding. What's your cell number? I'll, I'll call you when I watch it tonight. Uh, my cell number is 555-1234. Hi, nice, same cell numbers with Yusuke. Alright, don't forget to watch tonight. I don't know. I'm still guessing it's his mother. Her mother. After school, evening. Looks like we found all we're gonna find here. And we've still got nothing that points directly to a suspect. Oh, I'm sorry, you feel that way, Adopsy? We don't even know if this is a homicide. Well, what else could it be? There's no way a body could end up like that by accident. <sighs> I know. We haven't found there. the cause of death for the first Vic. Now we got a second one just like it. I think it was magic. If this is a murder case, there's no doubt we're dealing with a single perp. Okay. But if that's true, what the hell's going on? Murder is going on. You know, I thought at first this all spun out of that love triangle. Uh, okay. No. That singer, Misuzu Hiragi, has a solid alibi. She was performing overseas, and her phone records prove it. Wow. And remember, the only reason the scandal went public was because Hiragi herself broke it to the media. Alright. No one would put themselves under suspicion that way if they had the murder on their mind. Eh, people can be irrational sometimes. Got a point there. Same with Taro Namatame, her husband. No matter how much we shake him down, nothing links him to the murders. Not kind of out of the way. He's been working in the city for the past six months. Seems he was here recently because of the scandal, but he was swamped with work back home at the time of the incident. 
Alrighty. There are eyewitnesses and other evidence placing him at his office the night that Mayumi Yamano died. And we can't find anything that shows Yamano making contact with Namatame before or after her disappearance. You hear Namatame's career has also been killed stone dead? He's been fired from his position as secretary. That's fair. He's bringing a lot of undue eyes on a political office. He's practically as much of a victim as the Yamano girl. Kind of a cold observation there, Doxy. Yeah, I agree. Then we have the second case, regarding Saki Konishi. She's the one who discovered Yamano's corpse. I don't buy the killer shutting her up as a possible motive. She was killed well after she reported the body, and the culprit didn't hide her. It's like they were meant to be found. The only other connection is that she attended the same school as the daughter of the inn where Yamano was holed up. That's tenuous. But that hardly points to a motive. And coincidences like that are common in a town as small as ours. Yeah, I heard about that angle on the news, too. What? Is the story about the inn out already? Yeah, well, the news is weirdly gossipy. Not the most okay, I got it. How's this? Maybe there was something about the corpse that only Saki Konishi knew. And our perp killed her to keep whatever it was from leaking out. <sighs> Either way, all we can do now is keep investigating anyone involved with the victims. Our perp. It has to be someone in Inaba. Oh, is your detective's intuition at work? Welcome home! That's not what that said. good for tonight. Till next time. Katal, Katal.